This is a free lesson from my course Workflow of Modern Web Design from Sketching to Style Guides. In this lesson we are going to cover the concept of UI style guides or sometimes called style tiles and why do we really need them. And uh, next we are going to uh, see what are design patterns or pattern libraries and what other bigger companies like Yelp or uh, Salesforce they are how they are using these style guides to help their developers and designers okay actually the reason why we use style guide is to bring development and your designers on the same page or bring them closer okay so this is right now this style guide is built with Photoshop uh, there are style guides that are built with HTML and they are online I will show you the examples just in few minutes okay so First, let's see some of the examples and uh, how I created this UI style guide. I used a template from Media Loot and it is a very good template of UI style guide. There were no gradients in it, but I added them. Okay, now, first of all, we are going to define all the colors we are going to use. Okay, so I am using few colors over here, different shades of the same color. Like you can see over here, this is our main color, then this is another shade. This is a bit more lighter shade. Now what I used is I used this color picker to reduce, uh, change the saturation and brightness to get few more colors. Okay. Then we have this light gray. This light gray is also closer to this purple, I think. And uh, then we have gradients and we have typography. Uh, there are, this is the typography scale I chose. I'm going to show you how I chose this uh, in another lesson. Then we have our body text, our hyperlink, how the link will be. Okay, then we have the button sections. What is the sizes of different buttons? These are different states, normal, hover, active. These are other styles we can use for the same button. Then we have iconography, all the icons I am going to use. I'm going to paste them over here. You can see these are the icons I used in my design. These are custom icons. I purchased them from Creative Market. So uh, this is how I got them. I changed their colors according to my theme. I use purple and the steel color to uh, get these icons. Okay. Then we have our form elements. Now all this UI style guide is following the rules of atomic design. You can see we are defining our uh, atoms over here. Like you can see over here buttons, textiles, gradients, colors. These are all the atoms we are going to use to build our design. You can also see these form elements. They are also the atoms. If you combine them, they are going to create a pattern library. So first step is in all the design processes. If you are designing a very big website, uh, a web app or maybe a social web app, then you need to build this UI style guide. It is really going to help you in development and uh, in uh, your design process. So we are going to align your development and design a bit step closer with this style guide. You can see over here now this is called UI elements and this is basically our molecules. You can see over here this is our uh, step uh, bar, okay, progress bar. Then this is also step progress bar. These are uh, other controls. These are our atoms again. This is and again this uh, UI design. This is our article and it is combining three things, our paragraph, our titles and our images over here. So this is a molecule in atomic design and you can advance it further. You can create a lot of different pattern, pattern libraries full of it. You can create model windows. You can create full fledged forms, error messages, error pages, templates, different pages. This is up to you, but this is the starting point for any design. If you can create this sometimes uh, when I'm designing, I first create the first design and then I build this UI style guide from that design. So you can go from top to bottom or bottom to top. It's up to you. You can uh, move forward or reverse. It's your own technique. Uh, but sometimes uh, I might change these when I see that overall design is not fitting with these so I might change them. So these are all the gradients, all the colors we are going to use 
and uh, all the typography let me show you a few more examples that are really good uh, you can use them in your design okay so here is another one this is also a style guide and uh, it has different sections you can see over here typography then we have buttons and tabs icons forms then we have graphics temp okay these are the color palettes you can use the color palettes for typography background and illustrations now this is uh, totally different and uh, i think it was from mindy Wag wagner okay style tiles i think it is now oh, this is another style guide artboard and it is from uh, ruffel tomal i think i really like this designer and i follow it a lot uh, okay, so you can see over here he has different artboards. One is set up with colors, one is with typography. You can see over here there are all the different types. You can see how he has shown this coat area over here. Then we have this form. Okay, so everything they are following is the same guideline. Uh, I really li love this one because it has few more things. You can see over here if we go to these colors then we have this whole uh, grid system you can see it is also showing the grid 1080 pixel grid and with these more these columns then you can see here we have font settings one more thing if you can uh, add line height with your font i think it's the best thing a developer can get okay so it is missing from mine over here i can uh, also add line height over here but uh, we are going to create something similar with our zeppelin tool okay so we are going to use in the end zeppelin to create a style guide in coding okay not this just the image so these are different style guides i really love this one too uh, this has a lot of other options you can see these are the form controls buttons and this is the paragraph it's line height and everything also you can uh, Put some small text you can see over here it's okay, says small text monster at 12 pixels and the line height is 18 pixels so this is how you are going to design a style guide now let me show you some of the examples of online style guides that other big giant companies are using and how they are using it by building pattern libraries and everything else if you want to learn a pro level process of responsive web design using design frameworks like atomic design and eight point grid system and if you want to learn about wireframing how to gather project information ideation techniques mood boards style guides and prototyping all these advanced web design topics then you should take this course discount coupon link for this course is in the description of this video get this course now for only dollar 10 okay and don't miss this opportunity